I'm Nathan. I'm Lee. And continuing this month of new stuff. New. It's more new stuff. It's more new stuff. New Absolutely. stuff. <laughs> yes. You can reverb on that. From the lovely friends at Sire, from the lovely people at Sire, um, they've brought out a new model again. Um, so we have some, some more, uh, something for the modern players. We've, yes. uh, we've touched on the V series where they've uh, brought out the V5. We um, touched on them and then we sanitised our hands. We did. We sanitised everything. And now we touch on these. Now we touch these. And of course, yes, as you're saying, this is a departure from the traditional jazz bass. Yes. You have to say it like that. Yes. Precision bass. Um, so this is something else. Is it a modern? Absolutely. A, yep. modern, a modern bass for modern people. For in modern, modern times. In modern times, yeah. I mean, this one's got far too many strings, obviously. Right, well, okay. So the, I should say, just before we start, so there is a new uh, model in the range, which is the M5s, which we've just got here. So the four, the little blue here, and I've got the five. Um, yours just there, mate, is the brand new M7. So it's a model in the range up, but six string. It's the first ever six string they've done. And um, yeah, just getting sort of testing the market in this color and there's the black, I think it finished as well. So okay. um, so yeah, new single uh, model as that is and new range of M5s, which is trying to be just a little bit more affordable than the M7. So um, the M7, like you've got there, has yep. got the maple top, thick ma maple cap. Oh, um, I see. And, uh, and then either an order or ash body. These are just straight ash bodies, no tops or anything like that. But, um, and that, that's it, the main difference, is it? Really? That is the main difference. With, yeah. With the top on there. Absolutely. And you know, you oh, do and save and a little bit. Of course, bit. they've got the uh, matching. Absolutely, Head a little stop. maple veneer on the top. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so largely cosmetic then, really? Mostly, that's it. And just to, to save a little bit of money, because even just using a uh, bit of maple like that, you know, you can add 100, 150, 200 pound just by using a uh, maple top, you know. So um, with that, you do get some extra sustain and treble and high notes, all the clarity come through. Okay. Um, but this is a slightly more affordable version of that, um, but still offering all the same sort of capabilities with the preamp and, and yes. everything. Yes, same preamp. Yes. And all these guitars. Yes. Uh, oh. Which is quite all encompassing, isn't it? There's quite a lot going on. There I is should, a lot going on. I should say, because this is the M5, we lose the V5, which is passive. So that jazz, the V5 is passive. Um, these are the M5s. These aren't passive. These are still active. These are very active. Very, very active. But 18 yeah, volt? 18 volt preamp, I believe. Yes. Yeah, you're exactly right. Um, and this is the Heritage 3 uh, preamp system that they use on most of their bases as well through the Fasai range. Okay. So, um, exactly the same uh, as you'll find in the M7, which you've got there. Um, and we've got a couple of extra switches, I notice. Yeah. So which you've are got, obviously to do with these uh, flash humbucking pickups. Um, you've got um, uh, active passive switching. Yep. Which is the, the main, main switch on the end. And yep. then you've got a three way switch for each pickup. Okay. So you can you've got loads of combinations there. I mean, even if you've got say just both in the, in the same direction, you could have them 
in opposite it, directions. It, it's basically doing like humbucker, another position, single coil. That's it. Another position, something else. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it's like it's a series parallel, or a series parallel humbucker and true single coil kind of thing. But right. um, yes, just combinations of that and splitting the pickup, and you can have all matter of fun. Well. I bet everybody at home wants to know, what does it sound like, Lee? I'll show you. Come on. I'll show you. Uh, right. I'm going to put everything flat on the EQ. I'm just going to run it through on uh, the, the active mode, as it were. Whoa. So, but I'm not going to play around with that because there's too much involved in it. I'm going to show you uh, back pickup first. And then we'll go to the front, and then we'll do both, and I'll choose, show you some combinations of these switches that we've we've discovered. Cool! Lovely! Back pickup with switches down on both. I'm gonna keep on the back pickup. But I'm going to put everything, I'm going to put both switches in the middle, right? <laughs> um, same back pickup. Okay. okay. Just so so at this point, <laughs> you know, not to interrupt too much, but obviously, if it's just a back pickup, that front switch won't be making any difference, will it? No. You're very. <laughs> I'm just saying. Anyway, it's carry on. True. No, it's very true. Carry on. Yeah. So I'm thinking you can do. Uh, yeah, when both pickups are on, we can have some fun. But yeah, I'm just misleading you by this. Point. Have some fun. Yeah. Where are you going? Fun. Well, yes. <laughs> you stay there. I will. I will. Okay. Okay. Right. This is a pickup switch up back pickup. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> we got front pickup. Yes. Switch down. Now we have a switch in the middle, front pickup. <laughs> Switch up. <laughs> okay. Very nice, man. That's all right. So That's... we've got front, back, with a few sort of switching options. This is a weird. We're not finished yet. To think about. Yeah, I know. Well, so using both pickups. Now I'm going to go opposite, right? So I'm going to have this one split in this way. Oof, this one split in the word. other way. Just to give an option. This is what it sounds like. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna reverse those. And again, you've got everything in between that, like it's just Do you a have? Do you quick, have you've got lots of combinations. But that's not run all through. folks. That's not that's not all. Because to justify my wage somehow, I'm now gonna show you <laughs> <laughs> the EQ. Yeah. <laughs> oh, love it. Yes, because you know, that's worth looking at, isn't yep. it? The active, e well, you've got the passive EQ for a start. Mm -hmm. uh, so which one was, so, so passive is down. That's right. Uh, and uh, you have a passive tone. Yes. Right? Just under your master volume. So I'll just run through these. Volume, passive tone, mm -hmm. uh, pick up sweep. Yep. So back pick up, front pick up, both on. Uh, and then, so with in, in a passive mode, we just got this passive tone. So I'll do that back pickup. Uh, tone up a bit. Tone up all the way. But then, of course, you know, you've also got all these pickup combinations, right? So... Yes. 
Make it brighter. Front uh, pickup with the tone off. Tone up. Both uh, pickups on at the same time. There's so many strings I can't work oh, yeah. out which one to play. <laughs> there you go. Right, that's good. Uh, uh, now, yes. active in, right, and then we'll see what that does. Yeah, switch up. Uh, we've got also on the mid uh, boost and cut. Mm -hmm. We've got uh, we can select which frequencies we want to boost and cut. Sweep actually. Like, uh, likewise, we can cut all that and boost the top and bottom. Oh, yeah, get your get scoop. more of a scoopy. Uh, yeah, we we'll take that to the extreme. So You've got a lot of uh, a lot of different tonal, which is infinite amount of tonal variation. It really is. Active, yeah, it really is. passive. Uh, how you're all, splitting the humbuckers. How you're splitting the pickups. Um, there's a myriad. Yeah, absolutely. A myriad of tones. Lovely word that. A myriad. Tis indeed. Tis, tis. indeed. So, and some lovely basses. So there you go. And I suppose what people are going to want to know is how much are they how much do you want right do you have uh, the four string which is 489 on the m5 489 four, okay 489 that's that's not expensive not expensive five string yes 50 quid more 539 okay yeah, 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 yeah. Five, three, nine. Not much more for an extra string. That's in the M5 series. This is obviously M7, so you've got the maple top, the maple veneer. Um, it's in the series up, so it does jump up a little bit. And being six string, I think they're closer to about 900. 949. 949. For your Call six string M7. And yeah, um, have a look on the website, and we can maybe show them in, in the front here now, the other colours. But um, beautiful. Yeah, Left gorgeous, handed. gorgeous bases. Left-handed, they do do uh, in the they do do in the M5, but not in the six-string at the moment, unfortunately. Okay. So just for your, you right-handers, if you're up for the six-string challenge, that's for you at the moment. But I'm sure that you look down the line. I'm sure they'll be accommodating soon. But yeah, absolutely. not at the moment, unfortunately. So there we go. There is, in a nutshell, yes, the new M5 and the M7 from yeah. Sire. Lovely things. Lovely, stuff, Lovely new it? things. You just can't go wrong so with much, these. So much, so many new things. I know. I know. We've done the service. I know. It's totally spoiled. Yeah, cool. Uh, <laughs> well, there you go. There you have it in a nutshell. Uh, this has been all about the base. I've been Nathan. I've been Lee. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Hope you've enjoyed it. Bye, folks. Bye, 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 bye.
Yay!